This is News Flash on Channel 247 to some stories making major headlines. A political science lecturer at the University of Ghana, Professor Radford Jampo, has described President Ekufuadu's Tuesday's governmental appointment as no ministerial reshuffle at all and for that matter undemocratic. According to Professor Jampo, the exercise mainly filled vacancies in government where there have been resignations complemented with token movement that really do not carry any weight. In effect, the exercise fell far short of the expectations of members of the public who have been clamoring for a real reshuffle away from the a pathology examination has revealed that Shadrach Alo, the 32 year old man who died last week at the West Hills Mall during an encounter with a policeman and a private security personnel was choked by cannabis in a black polythene bag. Eight zipped bags contained dry leaves suspected to be narcotic drugs tied in a piece of black polythene was retrieved from the truth of the disease. The retrieved suspected narcotic substances tested positive for cannabis when submitted for forensic examination in the presence of all interested parties. The docket has been forwarded to the Attorney General's office for advice to determine further action. Moving on, President Ekufaru has sworn in 20 new judges of the High Court following their promotion. The 16 judges from the Circuit Court were all promoted to the third highest court of the bench following recommendations by the Judicial Council. The newly sworn in justices comprises 11 males and 9 females. President Nana Ekufuado, while swearing them in, said his government will continue to invest in infrastructure for the judiciary in order to ensure justice delivery is improved. Moving on, the National Disaster Management Organization says steps are being taken to put up a permanent dining hall facility for the Edraman Anglican Senior High School in the Ashanti region. Strong winds ripped off the roofing of the school's dining hall on Monday. About 50 students sustained injuries and were admitted at the Edra Government Hospital, but 28 of them have been discharged. One of the students who had a fracture in the leg has been referred to a specialist facility for further treatment. And to some business news, Speaker of Parliament Alban Babin has said the Minister of Finance, Ken Ufoyata, must be scheduled by the Business Committee as early as possible over the domestic debt exchange program. The Speaker said that must be done quickly as the issue is an urgent matter because the pensioners are picketing at the Ministry of Finance proposing 14 February 2023 for the appearance of the Minister. There have been agitations of pensioner bondholders for whom who picketed in front of the Finance Ministry on Monday to demand an exemption from the domestic debt exchange program. They said most of them depend on their coupons to cater for themselves and their children hence want an exemption just as their pension funds. And still in business, the whole collection of the Ghana Revenue Authority about 2.3 million cities in three weeks or in the month of January 2023, almost a double of the total revenue of 1.7 million cities collected in the whole of January 2022. This, the sector commander in charge of the collection of the Customs Division of the GRE Ho, Felicia Tadiboy Azuama, says is an indication of a great revenue prospect. She was speaking at, a, at an awards dinner held by the whole collection of the GRE last Friday. The Chief Revenue Officer said the success story of the collection was cause for joy and gave an assurance that personnel of the collection will continue to work with great zeal and enthusiasm to raise the needed revenue for the country. According to her, the whole collection was given a target of 27.4 million cities in 2022. Um, international news. The U.S. President Joe Biden has said on Tuesday that the United States is united in support for Ukraine as it opposes a Russian invasion and that the U.S. will stand with Ukraine as long as it takes. Speaking during his State of the Union address to a joint session of Congress, Biden said the government united NATO built a global coalition and stood against the aggression of Russian President Vladimir Putin. The United States and other NATO allies have provided billions of dollars in military aid including air defense systems to bolster Ukrainian forces. 
Moving on from the Nigeria Supreme Court has temporarily suspended Friday's deadline to stop using old banknotes, which had caused a cash crisis in the country. Many banks have not had enough of the new Naira notes, leading to desperate and chaotic scenes as people try to get their hands on them. The chaos led to concerns that it could affect this month's elections as many Nigerians do not have bank accounts. The bank said 80% of the notes currently in circulation were being held outside financial institutions in anticipation that the redesign would help tackle inflation, which is currently running at about 21%. The case, which was brought by the northern state of Kaduna, Koji and Zamfara, has been adjourned to 15th February. And to some sports news, LeBron James has become the NBA's all-time leading scorer, passing Karim Abdul-Jabbar's 39-year-old record. Los Angeles Lakers star James 38 hit 38 points in a 133-130 defeat by the Oklahoma City Thunder to surpass Abdul-Jabbar's mark of 38,387. James, who needed 36 points to break the record, did so with a fadeaway jumper at the end of the third quarter, and he finished the match with a career total of 38,390. Still in sports, the Okouhine and the life patron of Oko United, Dasebre Okuyamo Ejapon II, has introduced an initiative that Oko United Club 100 to make the club financially viable and secure ahead of the new season and beyond. The initiative targets 100 businesses and individuals with some admiration or linkage to the club Oko United community by contributing 10,000 cities. Addressing the media, he noted that contributions will come with benefit and full recognition in all media handles of the club. By example, he donated 10,000 Ghana cities to motivate others to join the Oko Club 100 initiative. To some entertainment news, today, Wednesday, February 8, 2023, is exactly five years when celebrated Afro dance for Afrobeat female musician Ebony Reigns died in a road accident. The Ghanaian singer died in a fatal car accident that claimed the life of her friend Frankie Fukuri and a military officer Achu Vondi, who were all in a jeep with her while she was returning to Accra from Sunyani. Ebony, nicknamed 90s Bad Girl, passed away just one week away from her 25th birthday. Priscilla Opuku Kwaten, known by her stage name as Ebony Rain, still holds the record as the first ever Ghanaian female artist to have won the Vodafone Ghana Music Awards. The posthumous award was received by her management in 2018. And still in entertainment, the Premier Award scheme to award and recognize Ghanaian women across all industries and public service institutions. The Ghana Women Award is set to kick off its 2023 edition on February 18th with the broadcast of all 13 episode diaries on major television networks in Ghana. Over the next 13 weeks, the Ghana Women Award Diaries will chronicle and profile the lives and achievements of 40 outstanding women selected from across all spheres of Ghanaian society for this year's honors and will be crowned with an award ceremony on May 13, 2023. And that's it for today's edition of News Splash on Channel 247. Thank you for watching. Enjoy the rest of our programs.